This college basketball picks edition of the Sports Gaming Podcast is brought to you by Bet365. Bet365 is offering new users a thousand dollar no sweat bet. Sign up today at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash bet365. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. We're also brought to you by Game Time. Game Time has last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Use promo code SGPN for $20 off your first purchase. Hey, what's up, you degenerate gamblers? This is Bill Burr, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, baby. Welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Yeah, uh, my bad. Uh, you were your your levels during the the ads were slightly lower than the energy you brought here for the college basketball. Which let's go. Should, should we start calling this the college basketball bailout? Because I feel like whatever I do wrong in the NFL, oh, I just man. I scoop it back up in college basketball. It's it's been silly season. This is uh, we are on an insane run. Of course, we're joined by the hosts of the college basketball experience, Mr. Colby Dant, aka Pick Dundee. What's happening, Colby? Well, I'm just riding Rick Pitino right now, minus three. I feel like this oh. is one of the greatest uh, greatest spots to catch Pitino off a loss in 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 a beach town. You know, you know, there's. <laughs> Diner. I don't know how the diner scene is oh, in Myrtle in, Beach. In, yeah. Myrtle <laughs> Beach, great diner scene. We did this handicap last year. Yeah, there there is a diner scene in Myrtle Beach. Uh, young, if young people go to a location to get ship faced, there are diners. Oh yeah, yeah. One waffle house. And, and also, waffle house. if someone yeah. could there's, just there's isolate, a, yeah, there's a spring break scene. There's a diner scene. If if someone could just isolate Colby saying, "I'm riding Rick Patino real hard," <laughs> just right, end it right there. We can put just it right. Sipping that beautiful whiskey, you guys. <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> part three of the Colby Dan origin story. Well, and, and of the course, time Colby, he rode Rick Patino uh, like la- a waitress. Last week, Colby did reveal his favorite uh, college basketball team. Football. I am an East Carolina fan. <laughs> Uh, that never gets old, and you know what doesn't uh, doesn't get old? Cash and tickets. Wow, insane run for the podcast. We all hit both of our locks. We all hit both of our money line dogs. We also hit our. Um, I'm looking at it here. The Santa Clara UMass Lowell parlay. Do we break it? Oh, uh, I mean, oh, here's that was, plus thirteen hundred. Yeah, that was a bonkers smash uh, here's for the smash. show and our consensus record. 15 and five right now on consensus picks. Colby 66%, 83% locks. Me 71%, 83% locks. Kramer 63%, 83% locks. Let's the, fucking the go. The best thing the Discord ever did was start to fade us when we agreed. Because uh, it's now, this is stretching over multiple sports. The sample <laughs> size is growing larger and larger. Bulletin board material. That's all we need. We, we've accidentally realized that we're sharp. Mm. Benedict mm. Antold saying he might change his name to I am an ECU fan. Uh, we we I I would love that. Uh, and Ryan Paul pointing out good start to the day. Uh, let's keep it rolling. So I yeah. just had a genius idea for a shirt. Mm. ECU colors name tag it says ECU fan. Oh, or maybe it's a big name tag and it says <laughs> I. Hello, I'm an and ECU. I like fan. it. I like this. Let's go, Jake. Jake, you're listening. Yes. Uh, we got a lot to get to. Of course, uh, before we get to all of it, shout out to Bet365. Have you signed up with Bet365? If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Just a really, just a great book, great UI. Uh, of course, um, easy to use, active in a bunch of states. Even uh, our friends up in Canada, a eh? love the good folks up north. They can get down on Bet365. All you got to do, uh, if you're watching live on YouTube, you can scan the QR code or you can use the link in the bio or you can go to sports gambling podcast.com slash bet365. And if you're in the States, sign up today and you can choose from two bonus offers either a thousand dollar no sweat bet or 
Bet five dollars, get one uh, fifty in bonus bets. I would. I'm a thousand dollar no sweat bet kind of guy. Uh, that's what I would be using my uh, bet three sixty five sweet bonus on. And again, great pr- prices on the first touchdown market uh, and uh, profit boosts. Of course, the early cash out offers, early payout offers. I know that I, I say cash out. Maybe people think you're cashing out for less. No, you can cash out your whole bet uh, in the NFL if your team goes up seventeen points. Head over to head over, uh, get all the details. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash bet three sixty five. Problem gambling? Call one eight hundred Gambler. Today is a Thursday, which means the NFL is playing. Which means you know we're gonna be getting down on some Little Caesars, the official pizza sponsor of the National Football League. One hour before and three hours after NFL kickoffs, plus all day Sunday, perfect excuse to get that delicious, delicious pretzel crust with pepperoni, the golden buttery brown crust with those delicious chunks of salt, making it, it just pairs perfectly. Love it. And not only does the pretzel crust pair perfectly with the pepperoni, it also pairs perfectly with the pigskin, AKA the NFL delivery or our in-store pizza portal pickup, grab some friends and enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars pizza, pizza. Just catching up in the chat. I see a uh, case in high tower pointing out would love an SGPN cocaine bear shirt. Uh, it would ma- makes me think we need a Blue cocaine. Oh shirt. yeah, mm, got I a, like that. Got a bunch of uh, new shirt ideas cooking up in the merch store. So uh, stay tuned and always, always down. Submit your ideas. We want to give you crowds uh, what you guys want. Yeah, I mean, imagine you could author a, 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 a top selling shirt in the mm. SGPN merch store, which it's gonna be hard to to beat some of the stuff that Colby's got up there. Some Dundeeisms. I, I've been waiting to get my. I have one that I you saw know, we're someone, working on behind the scenes. I think uh, I saw a random uh, first half undershirt fly off the ooh, shelf. There's an the Eat Pit T-shirt out there, that and is. then of course uh, the person who won the Patreon uh, Pick'em contest last week. It was a uh, husband and wife who both massive fans of the show, and I, I said, "Hey, what do you want for your free shirt, free hat?" And of course, also got a bird ladder going their way, uh, and the the wife respond or the husband responded, "My wife." Would love a refs are terrorists t shirt. So that's when you know you've really found the one. Uh, so, well, it's, three, it's pretty like, great. There's so many reasons why that's awesome. Yeah. A, um, she's into the brand. Mm. B, she's into football. C, terrorist jokes are funny. Yeah. Like that's a that's a pretty strong trifecta of uh until death do us part. One hundred percent. All right. So we're talking college basketball. Hoops. Friday, November seventeenth. First game's gonna tip at twelve thirty on the West Coast. We're heading to NASA in the Bahamas. Uh, we may have some birdies on the boots on the ground, so maybe we'll have some inside inside Iggy's here. B and and by the way, what is BHS? Is that the Baha- official Bahamas abbreviation? Or yeah. Is that the database yeah. abbreviation? Uh, it's also a crew that I'm affiliated with. And uh, I New was going to say, it sounds no. like a dance gang. crew. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys going to break some dance all over your ass? <laughs> the BHS crew coming to town. Dare you step to us? Yeah, you you haven't seen uh, Colby uh, pop and lock at the same time. <laughs> it, it's a uh, it's a dynamic situation. We uh, again, these numbers are currently not organically in the wild. So we've gone into the the cloning lab, and uh, our our originator picked on D himself has uh, put out some numbers. We weren't that far off on the Santa Clara thing too. Oh, and by the way, you, you it's funny you you said the chat was giving you shit. You said we should lower it, and so I think next time that happens, you got to trust your gut. We're going to lower the number because you were. Uh, every, I wasn't was that it? far off though. Every well, it was, it was like eleven, right? No, no, no. no it was I, eight. I, think, I would go it, further. Well, when it eight closed. when it closed, but yeah, I, it opened, opened at eleven. You well, were maybe, you yeah. were you were dead on. Uh, I think with half of them, but even directionally, we we were pretty pretty spot on in terms of where the number was going. All right, twelve thirty. Like I said, we got some early basketball on Friday, Sean. We we're gonna have a long day in the sports book. Uh, out in lost beautiful Las Vegas. Yeah, tune into the Veasan show nine o'clock yep. Pacific Friday nights YouTube TV. Yep, we're going to Vegas this weekend, and it's not for the F one race. We're, we maybe we're the only ones. <laughs> Miami, uh, lo- lo- probably going to see a lot of uh, sheiks and and things of that Ooh. nature in the airport. 
Uh, my well, probably a lot of talent flying in. Oh, I, I was talking to someone. It's like the Super Bowl is big because it's like it's basically like the ultimate All Star game. Everyone's out there, especially this year. The Super Bowl's in Las Vegas. Yes, uh, but the, the F one is like that on a global level. Like people don't realize how much every single driver. This is the end of the season for them. Most things are locked up. Every single driver is coming out here just to party. Well, just I'm, well, I'm being dead serious. Also, add in like the corporate money involved, the oh people coming God. out. You're what gonna, what yeah. do you think the girl like? So the rooms have gone up like 20x. What do you think the girlfriend experience uh, uh, price increases for F1 weekend? Uh, yeah, I, and the the prostitute experience might might go no, up that, a little yeah, bit. Uh, that's yeah. that's code, Colby. We yeah. were, we we run oh, okay. a classy program. Yeah. Oh, we okay. don't. Girlfriend is code for prostitute. I, you guys, you guys went. I, <laughs> like, oh, me I don't want a girlfriend nagging me all the time. Want me to take her I just, on dates. I look, if, Well, if you're one of these drivers, Sean, you're driving fast. Hey, hey, bro. You're thanks like for, Jerry Glanville. You fast know, fast cars, fast women. Hey, bro, exactly, exactly. Hey, bro. Thanks for uh, cracking the code for my wife about the girlfriend <laughs> thing. Uh, Miami, Florida, heads. Uh, well, they're, they they're, don't understand English. They're heading uh, to down to the Bahamas with Georgia here. The Bulldog. How how many teams are in this preseason uh, McGillicuddy here? Is it a is it a twelve teamer? Oh man, that's a good question. I it is fun. Again, I I think the football guys should take a look at this and follow. Let's do some preseason bowl games. Have them in exotic locations. Makes a lot more sense than doing it in the winter. Uh, back to basketball. I assume this is on the sheet only for one reason, because my guy. He took it. I heard. I have it on good authority that my guy Blue Kane took a cigarette boat down to the Bahamas. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of teams though. Yeah, we're at eight, right? But I mean, pretty good, pretty good. Turn uh, eight, up, all right. right, eight men's, eight women's. Oh, yeah. so there's gonna be some fraternizing. Mm. Watch out. Yeah, Blue Kane out of the country in the Bahamas, or in his element. <laughs> I, I'm never again. Now, this is my guy. He's on the watch list. Uh, Give me the Bulldogs. Yeah, I mean, k- k- are we worried about the Canes, Colby? Averaging ninety-one point seven. Which Cane? Blue Cane or <laughs> uh, cane. or the Cocaine or, or the or the, or the Hurricanes? Cane. Yeah. The Hurricanes. I'm worried about it all. Although Georgia, not only Blue Cane, but uh, Jabri Abdul Rahim shooting forty-one point two percent from behind the arc. I mean, that's Duh. the kind of guy gets a little hot. He could really swing a game. Five points. I- I'm thinking feels a little high. Colby, what are you doing here? No, Jimmy Larinaga. They had their scare game against the airport. They bounced back. Nigel Pack, Norchad O'Meara, Matthew Cleveland, the Florida State transfer, very filthy to go from Florida State to Miami. But uh, Miami is just a better team. Lay the five with the really? Hurricanes. Yeah, okay. Jimmy Larinaga is used to. He probably goes down there. Every, he's he's sitting there. He probably goes down there what every other weekend. The, the Miami offense, I think. Yeah, to your point. I mean, maybe the Georgia boys might get a little distracted by the Bahama scenery. Miami kids, it's another day in the park. And uh, and you're right. The Miami offense, I think, is going to be a little too much for Georgia. So I'm I'm with you. I'll ride with Miami. Good coach early on in the season. That's the smart handicap. But uh, this blue, I was trying to look up blue uh, cocaine's uh, nil deal. Um, I just to the fu- local uh, cocaine guy. That's <laughs> get him a cocaine and a nil deer. I, li- I, I like this. I just uh, his real name, by the way. Do you know what his real name is? No. Christopher. Christopher hmm. Kane. I believe so. I gotta I gotta confirm that. That's but per the N- nil database. But Georgia lists him as Blue Kane. Wow. Six five out of Knoxville. Four star. It's like Santa Claus. Chris, uh, Chris Kringle. He uh yeah he sir, he's uh, he's on the watch list I'm I'm riding with my guy give me the points Kansas State heads to, uh, also down in and uh, who are the give, read off the eight teams that are here you still uh, have that list up uh, yeah but it didn't match maybe I'm looking at the uh, oh that's there Atlantis. might be multiple Is that the here same thing? yeah all right uh, Kansas State Providence again reminder to everyone um, Providence no longer has Ed Cooley he's at Georgetown. Also seems like the the thing on the back of Ed Cooley's head has expanded. I don't hmm. know if you've caught that. It, it kind of it's a wrapping around his head. He's going to be a Star Wars character soon. Um, uh, and, and reminder that Kansas State also uh, coached by someone that Colby adores, Jerome Tang. Loves Jerome Tang. One yeah. of our guys. So again, at, at this point, I don't see how we're not taking Mr. Tang here. Uh, K State's been good on neutral site locations. Year ago, they were six and two. What are you gonna say, Colby? Uh, your teams. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but it's just uh, this is just a, a four team tournament. Oh, only here. four. Yeah, yeah. 
Miami, Georgia, K State, oh, and so these Providence. Four. Okay, so we're talking about all of them. Cam Carter, Tylon Perry, putting up almost a combined forty points per game for Kansas State. I mean, Wisconsin did look pretty good. Or sorry, uh, Providence did look pretty good taking down Wisconsin. Of course, one of my locks there. Well, Seventy-two like fifty-nine. They shot though fifty-nine percent. I don't know if that's sustainable, especially on the road, neutral site. Providence first time in the Bahamas. I think I think K State is uh, better situated for this spot. This isn't what, what do they call their stadium? The Dunk? Is that what you? The Dunk. It yeah, used to be they, called. They don't yeah. call. Yeah. They don't. This ain't the Dunk. Well, another thing is they played Wisconsin, who are you know they're stapled to the floor. So Kansas State, no one is sent in the stapling. Yeah, uh, Kansas State not stapled to the floor. Sean, oh, no. they got Tyler Perry, uh, they got well, you know Will McNair, the former New Mexico State Aggie, Art Kaluma from from Michael Crichton's team. Wrong team um, favorite. Yeah, wrong team favorite. Give me the Wildcats all day here. Wow. Yeah, K State. This is potential lock. Who's more likely to get fucked up though and be hungover down there in the Bahamas? I think it's a toss up. Mm. And might and be the, Kansas State. Blue cane. But I would yeah. say <laughs> Kansas State's been to the uh, been to the Bahamas before. Uh, this is the first time. For that's Brown. true. And they're used. You get that wristband. You go off around. Around and just, yeah, yeah. It's the dangerous thing. You know, you get that wristband. Yeah. Next thing you know, you got some those ju- guys coming around with the shots. <laughs> yeah, uh, see another one of those. Down your throat. Exactly. Give me another one of those frozen drinks with the fruit. <laughs> I love the whole. I mean, fun fact about me: I love a good frozen drink with giant piece of fruit in it. I, uh, I know Sean likes to post those pictures in Vegas. Same applies to tropical locations. Wonder what Joe Francis is up to. Mm. You think he's still alive? Uh, that's a good question. He lived, I, I thought he might have been in jail. Guys that live that that fast, you know, <laughs> it, when it when it ends, it ends fast as well. Uh, just think of John McAfee. That's a fun, uh, fun little documentary if you've never seen it. All right, uh, and real quick, Sean, I, I I meant to do this earlier in the show, but shout out to the anonymous platypus mm. and the anonymous gopher who are watching us put our picks in live in the sheet. Uh, once again, to take what? it back to college names, the platypus. How is that not a team name, Sean? I I might say that should be SGPN's no, name. No one's a platypus. Let's get. It's the, a very, very, very evolved animal. It's, the, it's efficient and built for, the for very specific things. SGPN duck build platypuses. It is a strange looking animal. <laughs> I mean, you could see it uh, as maybe looking like something used to penetrate something else. Colgate. <laughs> Is this right? Are we are we heading to Canada? A eh? yes. They're, Colgate and Yale are playing in uh, Mockton, Canada. Where is that? Mockton, Canada, you, man. New Brunswick. New Brunswick. Yeah. Okay. So on the east, I, I do know beautiful that much. town. Look at this town. Uh, Colby showing me a beautiful picture. Looks like the uh, there's ice on the ground. Uh, Colgate and Yale here. A couple smart schools battling. I'm not sure. What? Who asked for this? Did the Canadians <laughs> ask for a Colgate Yale battle? Well, did the did the people did the good people in the Bahamas ask for uh you know ask for some college? Col- I don't Colby, know. next year I want to know more about these uh, these uh, neutral site. <laughs> it is it, uh, is this this has to be a like a um, like some sort of fruit festival? Like a, this is this is clearly some crooked <laughs> thing, right? Where there's like a no bid. Oh hey. You know, okay, you do this favor for me, and then next thing you know, we're you're heading up to Mankinton, ah, Canada. It's the Mockton <laughs> uh, Northern well, Lights. They Festival. did one at Belfast Mountain. last year. I mean, why does Belfast get college hoops? This is just random. This is this is the part of the fun, and I'm waiting for that SGPN, uh, you know, expense account for me to travel to, to all these lo- lo- locations. <laughs> what from do you Maui think? How to, the uh, fuck do you get to Mockton, Canada? <laughs> Where the fuck is all this right, town? Let's, let's pull it up on a map. We got it. I mean. Colby, guess the nearest city to Moncton, Canada. Is it far? I mean, I mean, major I guess Mon- city. I was thinking. I guess Moncton, Canada, is a city, but uh, the 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 next like major city next to it. I was oh, guessing. Wow. I was gonna guess Toronto, maybe. Oh shit, that's Jesus. so far east. It's in a different time zone. Or is that Montreal? Is no, that we're Montreal? talking. Uh, like, this is super east. It's so northeast. far. East. Like you're basically Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia. You're you're in. Yeah. You're in Newfoundland. You're basically you're I, in New Brunswick, Halifax. I've, yeah, they're in a time zone east of Eastern time zone. Wow, wow. this is this is wild. I mean, you they're, got you got like a nine hour drive right. to get to Montreal. Here's a wild nugget. They're <laughs> Bangor, Maine's probably the biggest close city. <laughs> Here's some directly north of Bermuda. Oh, but like you know, 
hundreds of miles east of. So I'm York saying City. you guys couldn't. We couldn't. What's what's? It's probably very expensive to get there, huh? It's easier for oh, you no, to get to the Bahamas. The Southwest right? goes direct to Moncton. I'm all yeah. We're we're looking at a similar uh, latitude to maybe pull like some somewhere in the the Pullman area. Wow. So okay. Bigfoot could live up here. Yeah. Uh, Benedict uh, Dan told pointing out will there will their uh, yachts be able to dock in these frozen waters? That's that's the big part of the handicap here. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if you ever watched those uh, those crazy fuckers that like fish these waters up here. But I have a feeling those yachts wouldn't make the uh, the traverse into this this crazy weather. The chat is talking about Cooley as the Star Wars character, and I, I think you're onto something here. But I could also see Patino as an evil Star Wars character. Oh you? yeah, no, the Emperor. Like when yeah. the Force, like when you you get evil in the Force, it like ta- it makes you look. Evil. They should do a Star Wars with all college he, basketball. He actually, coaches. yeah. If you were making, co- yeah, if you turned every college coach into a Star Wars character, oh. Patino would be the Emperor. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, this, well, this Shire would be, would be one of the Jedi that get killed. Yeah, yeah. like some pussy Jedi. <laughs> and Jeff Jeff Capel would be some sort of like uh, he would be Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> and then we're on to something here. This no, is no. I fun like exercise. this idea. Ed I like Cooley this idea. Ed, way Coo- too Ed Cooley just kicks ass. You know, <laughs> yeah. he's your Billy he's Dee Lando. Williams. Lando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Lando is uh, definitely Ed Cooley. Who's uh, who's uh, Han Solo? I was about to say who that that's got to be Will someone Wade. super serious. No. <laughs> Will Wade's definitely on the dark side. Yeah, someone who had um, a long career. Uh, I would say, yeah, it's got to. He's got to be like long career. It's Izzo. Oh yeah, it's Izzo. There you go. Yeah. That's Lando. Yeah, All let's right. go. Let's get back. We got to pick some games. We got. We got a lot of shows. And, and Bobby that. Knight is uh, is uh, what uh, Luke Skywalker. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, Bobby Knight's probably someone that gets killed really, really fast. <laughs> I know he was around for a while, but he gets killed really fast. Uh, Colby, please give us a handicap on this. Well, Colgate was up the entire game on Syracuse. Syracuse battles back. Uh, Got the they push. almost made it three straight wins against Syracuse. Big push. Uh, Yale, meanwhile, took down Kelly LaPepe. I know that's amazing. Uh, that's my that's all my handicap. Yeah, is. this Yale team's pretty good. I, I'm gonna lay the Yale, one and Yale a half. Has, Yale has owned Colgate too. Colgate six and fifteen historically against Yale. Yeah, and uh, I'm I'm drawing a blank on the guard for Yale's name right now, but he is he is nasty. Bez Mbang. Yeah, yeah, that guy is nasty. That? Or it's probably M-bang, just Bez Mbang, M-bang, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Bang, just Bang. And probably. if we're if we're going uh, over, um, dong. if we're going over last year, Yale uh, much better non conference than Colgate. Colgate six and eight. August Mahoney. Yale ten and four. Um, uh, you think I should name my uh, my son after a, a month on the calendar? <laughs> Uh, that it, it uh, probably just means the mom was really into like lunar shit. That, uh, ten uh, times out of ten. Are we are we all on Yale? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, Colgate going to J- the Discord. June Jones, friend of the program. I'd also <laughs> like. Oh, yeah, to, I'd also classic. like to investigate a Yale to win the Ivy League future. I don't know. The Ivy League's pretty stacked. Yeah, but pretty I, stacked. Princeton's mm, looking fire. Harvard's fine. looking fire. Yeah, Yale. It's the coaching edge for Yale, in my mind. Butler, and, and by the way, Butler. Very good basketball team this year. Three thirty on the West Coast. Butler heads to East Lansing to take on Michigan State. State let us down or let me down. Minus eleven and a half here. Big number. Butler. Butler very good. This is the, very, I think the no, problem very, here. Very big number for Butler. Is Michigan State hasn't shot well all year. Yeah, and that's that's a clear flaw of this team right now. I mean, it is comically bad. They are shooting sixteen percent from behind the arc. Good for 354th in the nation. I mean, you could look at it two ways. Like, hey, eventually they have to figure out how to hit a couple three pointers. But on the other side, can you really trust a team laying 11 and a half? Now, granted, it is in East Lansing. They're coming off a loss. I, I'm going to say this number is not this big. Uh, it'll probably be a little lower, right? Maybe. Well, maybe and, eight, and, nine. and what about. Uh, I mean, I'm going to smash Butler. I, I think we should drop this number. To what? Eight, nine? Nine and a half. Okay. What about uh Colby, junior guard Pierre Brooks? First game back in East Lansing from uh since he transferred from MSU to Butler. And that's the real thing. Thad Mata, year two at Butler. I was high on them last year. I, got, I ate shit on this, but he's a damn good coach. Should have never ex- got fired by Ohio State. Big Ten experience. Getting Posh Alexander from St. John's. They still have a few uh, you know, Jalen Thomas, the old Georgia State transfer from from a year ago. And DJ Davis, they they went out and really won the portal. I'm all over Butler here. Yeah, this is a good spot for Butler. I mean, I know Michigan State's coming off a loss, but 
You got to feel like Michigan State's going to be due on one of these games, but that's just too, too many shooting, points. Maybe yeah. Michigan State wins this game. But, but we were talking. We were what? I mean, I, I've now seen parts of two Butler games, and they they look like a, a team that we're going to be talking about late in the year. Yeah, because uh, I mean they look very very good. Very very. Well, Michigan State is a team too that peaks late. But Butler's very well organized right yeah. now, and it's very early in the season. So all right, Florida, Florida State. We're heading to Gainesville for this one, 4 p.m. on the West Coast. Florida laying nine and a half. Is Bruce Pearl on the dark side? Uh, Bruce, I don't know. What do you, I, I kind of feel like Bruce Pearl is one of the politicians who like deals with both sides. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's working the middle. Like everyone kind of likes him. He, he's he's ma- is he going to die this episode? Is he going to? Yeah. He's probably like you know doing a bad deal. Calipari the, certainly on the dark side though, right? I think Calipari also probably a senator. I think both them. Fit but he's making fit. like evil deals behind the scenes. Oh yeah, right? but they're both politicians. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. they're because they've been around for a while. They work with both sides. I like it. Uh, but yeah, so Florida, Florida State. I mean, wh- I feel like we've been talking college basketball together for uh, enough years to just. Uh, we still don't have a handle on Mr. Hamilton. You yeah. know what? Talent, I, I talent, actually talent. have this. I haven't figured out. I think. Do you? I do. I think. Uh, his teams. He went out and got like super athletic the past couple of years, and yeah, it's failed. Long. No, I mean they've always been athletic. Yeah, but, like, but he got like great guard play, and then they weren't as long as his other teams. He's yeah, back yeah. to like really being a, a a tall team again. Number one average height according to Ken Palm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, and that is why I'm buying into the success of the Seminoles. I think they're flying under the radar. I like them to cover this game. I like them to win outright because I'm not high on Florida this year. And I mean, they, Florida State's gotten off. They, they destroyed Kennesaw State and Central Michigan, both ninety-four to sixty-seven. I mean, I'm going to always lean dog in rivalry games, and the fact that their offense is is playing so well, uh, I think it's a good a good spot to hop on them. And staple of of Leonard Hamilton, they defend the three point line well, and this version of them are shooting the three well so far. So if they can be maintain being efficient offense when the competition goes up a notch here. Love it. Also, strangely, they they're one of the deepest teams in the country in terms of minutes played. I know that's probably due to garbage time and stuff, but yeah, like Florida State here. In general, I think Hamilton's a guy who you like early in the season, and he tends to tail off as other teams are adjusting and growing. Like, and it's probably because he gets good talent and maybe doesn't coach the best. Uh, ra- oh, I see. Oh boy. All right, the, you got ju- uh, you guys are gonna be very excited. You want to stick around after the break? We got a juicy matchup. Oh, and we got a. Uh, We're gonna be talking about girlfriends. <laughs> uh, we got some juicy uh, games here. Uh, tipping off later today. If you're listening to this, two or sorry, on uh, what is it Thursday? We got some night games, and of course, there's some underdog fantasy uh, pick 'em opportunities for college basketball. I'm going to go to our expert here, Colby, Utah at wake. You want to go to that game, Colby, six o'clock tip. I want to try to give people maximum shelf life, or we could go to uh UMass Lowell, Arizona state. That, which one I think the, that would be the, your maximum shelf life, right? UMass. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, they both tip off similar, but let's talk, let's talk Arizona state. Uh, we got Frankie Collins. We got uh Kamari lands. We got uh Jim Laya Neal. Uh, what I'm not a here? big fan. That, do they have any Lowell on there? Let's see. Do, I don't see any Lowell guys up yet. Okay. We can, we can okay. Go to so, Wake, so so what's our Wake number? Wake Utah also tips off at six. Okay. Okay. Let's let's hit, hit me with some of those. Wake Utah. There's a bunch of uh, players we can pick higher, or lower on, including uh, Brandon Carlson, Gabe Madsen, Raleigh Worcester. Some all-time names here. Cole Bajima. That's on an, Utah. That, that's an interesting game because Wake is coming off the loss to to Blue Cane. Mm. I kind of expect. Uh, uh, Did you say blue K? <laughs> I kind of expect blue K, uh, wake wake to bounce back from that. So, do you have any uh, Kevin Miller points? What's that uh, number? Cameron, what's Cameron, that number uh, Kevin Miller points sixteen and a half. We could also take his spicy uh, play here. One and a half three pointers made. Can he get to two threes? Yes, All right, I let's think you put can. That in there. Let's let's go to that. Uh, is there anything for Hunter Salise the the uh, the Gonzaga transfer there? Can we? No, get? no. Okay. What Miller? about what? Okay. Let's let's pair it with one of the Utah guys. Um, what do you like on the Utah side? Any of these guys jump out? Well, Utah looks really good so far, but they they've played. You know, the competition. Eastern Washington's a decent mid major. Riverside, kind of kind of terrible. So. Uh, 
this season at least. So I mean, I think they're going to be a good team. Madsen's a stud. Ben do we Carlson. Wanna go, do we want to take? I know you're a big Ben Carlson do guy. Do we want to take uh, Gabe Madsen higher <laughs> points? Um, that's set at eleven. Oh yeah, I okay. like that. I like so that. So yeah. Kevin Miller, uh, higher one and a half three pointers made. Gabe Madsen higher eleven points. Since this is a spicy play, hundred dollar wager would turn into forty five bucks. And that's. I, I think the reason why you want to go on the higher side of this is I think uh, there won't be much defense in this game. I expect this to be kind of a high scoring affair. Like it. And yeah. of course, underdog fantasy promo code SGP and get that hundred percent deposit bonus up to $100. <sighs> Apologies for what I was just, I was getting uh, caught up in something. All right. Yeah. You know, sometimes what is it? Wesley Snipes said some, some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate uphill. Mm. Mm. Radford heads to Harrisonburg, Virginia. Take on J M U money line. Max going to be at this game. Oh, All right. excellent boots on the ground and, and get this uh, 24 hours up? after that. NC Nick's going to be there for college game day in the football game. Upstate J M U. Very. I'm, I can't wait to the see all SGPN the weekend in Harrison. Can't wait to see all the social media uh, with those guys at the game. I, I did enjoy your your brother uh, your brother's video of the drunk Duke fan from the other uh, Kentucky, that was, that fan. Kentucky, Sorry, Kentucky fan. Kentucky yeah. fan. Duke, Duke fans don't drink like that. You're right. You gotta you gotta know. All right. I'm, <laughs> that's Moon, a Kentucky thing right there. Moonshine is beneath them. All right. The horrors of Radford take to the road, and we've discussed this before because JMU, at least when I was in school, and Colby, you can probably validate this. JMU was known as a big time party school, kind of a similar vibe in my mind to like the West Virginia angle where you have, Ooh, I don't know if it was that. Well, no, no, I'm yeah. going to, I'm going to come at it from a different angle. The bar is low enough to where it, it doesn't matter necessarily like what your K metric score is your, your talent will okay. get you in and there's just talent everywhere. Yeah. Okay. And it's Fair. good talent. Like Radford, slightly more like a <laughs> Kansas City versus, you know, M Miami situation here. And so I wonder <laughs> if it's going to be a, a, a bizarro zig when you got a zag. The whores of Radford aren't able to close the deal because of all the talent at JMU. Mm. Mm. I'm laying the points. With JMU, I mean, JMU. Hopefully, kinda, I get a review about have that. Have you watched this JMU team? JMU uh, has looked. Really good. It looked like this year. I know it's early and we don't want to overreact, but I'm like, it's this year's Florida Atlantic is, uh, is, is JMU, it, maybe. I guess the only way you can talk me into Radford is the idea of like, hey, this is too much pressure mm -mm. for James Madison. This is the first time they've ever, this is their first game ever as a ranked team. That would be the only, and Radford's coming but off you a got loss. College to game day there, all the people arriving early are going to go to this game yeah. on Friday. Well, and, and I'm saying that's, it's creating some pressure, whereas Radford. Rivalry game, nothing to lose. That would be the angle to take Radford. I still think JMU just owns him. So you got to go to not take Radford is that they suck. One of the most impressive. <laughs> well, I actually think they played Carolina tough. Now I, that VCU game, I don't know what happened, but they they looked all right against Carolina. One of the shortest teams in the country, dude. But JMU has like multiple guys that are that, like I was. They're, they're really, really really impressed. Hey for yeah. play is helping JMU. Bottom line. Yeah, they got they they got a slew of guys that I think are are, are good players um, and talent, a lot of talent. Yeah, I'll I'll go with the uh, I'll go with the Dukes. I'm laying the points. Kramer, you're on JMU oh, as 100%. well, right? One hundred percent. I get it. The, when the when the Rad when Radford doesn't have the power of their whores, they drain you. Oh, they're just it's it's uh you know you're. You have to know when to come. You're not getting Superman. <laughs> I was blanking on Superman's real uh, Clark Clark Kent. What was his name? <laughs> Maryland heads to. Oh, we're not Villanova's not playing in Philly anymore. Uh, they call this a special little Bryn, town. Bryn Mawr. Yeah. Rawr. Rawr. Five thirty on the West Coast. R late night game here. Nova laying five. First time. Uh, is this the first time on the season? We'll we'll uh, induce a Sean Villanova pick. Mm. Could be. Maryland coming off a loss too. Coming off a loss to Penn. Remember Another I told you. Remember school. I told you Temple would be a live dog. Yeah, you you were right in the in the battle of Philly with Temple and Drexel. This is a little different. We already know who you're going to take. Hmm. But is it Villanova? Not are we worried about this new coach? Uh, yes. Can't uh, lose the pen. 
That was a very really, really bad loss. But this is a veteran team. They're gonna jump back. I think Maryland seems to be they lost to UAB, they lost to Davidson, they seem to be a little bit of a mess. Nova, I love I love this spot. I love laying the five here. Nova's gonna smash smash them. Smash. So basically, it's I stand between You're, you're out on Kyle Neptune. I stand between the Discord and just a free roll. I can't. All right, let's let's review. What has Villanova done? Thir, uh, t- only a twenty-seven point victory over American, probably one of the worst teams in the country. Lemoyne. I, no, that's I, one of the worst. Teams I'm not even sure who yeah. Lemoyne is. Uh, the they Dolphins. O- they only. Well, that's a great nickname. They only beat them by twenty-seven. Tw- I'm sorry, twenty-six. Th- this is a concerning pattern. No, they're going to be. They're, look at Maryland. This I mean, v- like Villanova lost to Penn. That was a rivalry game. They're going to be pissed off. Though. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm with you. Um, Maryland coach was at Seton Hall, so maybe he knows Nova a little bit. But this is an ultimate bounce back spot for a team that is much better. Uh, I mean, Maryland's been struggling in the Big Ten. They got their. Um, they lost to Davidson and I mean, UAB. Yeah. And UAB. Villanova yeah. all day. This is lock potential. All right. I'll what are take you doing, Villanova Ryan? as well. Uh, I love bullying Ryan. Even Benedict Dantold, who's a Maryland fan in the chat, saying you can't bet on Maryland. Ryan. I, we're worried about Villanova's coach. San Francisco heads to Glendale, Arizona, 6 p.m. on the West Coast to take on Grand Canyon. I believe not, not a true home game for Grand Canyon. Okay, we're playing yeah. in some in the uh, some sort of uh, Suns Arena. Or yeah, something. I think I think I I, I believe this so, is something one that's of those not their yeah, stadium. Yeah. Uh, Colby, I've heard in recent days say Grand Canyon is lit. Uh, I've also heard uh, host of Bottom Line Bomb CJ Sullivan say that he had to find a Grand Canyon National Championship future. <laughs> yeah, he laying got it at four, what, 300 to 1. Laying four and a half here. San Francisco. The Dons. They always keep a good program. They're always sitting there in like three or four out in their uh, conference behind Gonzaga and St. Mary's. They put uh, San Francisco put up 128 against Bethesda. Yeah. But that, oh man, uh, you know, that, but that's just got a couple of kids that can really ball too. <laughs> uh, look, the problem is, is this is still going to be a Grand Canyon crowd, and, oh, the, and uh, that they actually have a legit uh, home court advantage. Yeah. Now this is not technically at home, but they're still going to bring that crowd, I think, to go catch the uh, the antelopes, get a dub, and uh, look, they're playing at the Desert Diamond Arena. They got a few guys that are f- that are really good too. They're kind of like JMU of the West. I like laying the points with the antelopes as long as they're in uh, Arizona. Grant Foster, Kansas DePaul transfer uh, for Grand Canyon, leading the way. The uh, guard play too with oh, Moore yeah. and Isaiah Shaw. They ain't playing yeah. at the Suns Arena. They're playing at the uh, Diamond, the Desert Diamond Arena, which is the home of the National. Uh, it's the Arizona Co- Coyotes' home until mm. 2022. They left. I don't know where they went. And it will be the home of the indoor football league, which Colby hasn't commented yet on the return of uh, the indoor football league, Arizona Rattlers starting oh, in 2024. I, I do know about the Arizona Rattlers. That's, That's an old school name. franchise, hunky Cooper, Randy Gatewood uh, guys you should check out, go g- use YouTube. All right. Hunky Cooper legend. It's a great name. Uh, yeah. So I, I guess, um, why would we not take Grand Canyon? This is another case of a pay for play situation. And I'm by the way, I'm split on the airs on on the arena, the indoor football thing. What do so, you mean? Well, it's, it's football. You should never play football indoors. But one of the things I do love is you have to play both ways. Hmm. Yeah, but it. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can have a different type of sport. It doesn't have to be seen as the same football. Just play it outdoors, though. What's what's the st- and and. It's just a little too because gimmicky. The gimmick is it's indoors. It's like slam ball. That's it's, but it's, it's not, that's the equivalent of slam ball smash, in basketball. Smash. They're not playing on trampolines, although that would be pretty <laughs> sick. They got to kick the goalpost. Your receiver gets to run it like a ten yard running start. It it's doesn't a lot, have to a lot be of football. Cha, cha, it's cha. Like NBA yeah. Jam isn't a basketball game, but it's still fucking fun. Are you talking the video game? Yeah. Now? You're not playing five on five basketball. So you're saying you're saying still arena football fun. is a video game? No, it's the two on two of fucking <laughs> fucking football. Have some fun, Colby. Your hatred of football is very strange. So San we're all in Grand that's, Canyon. That's not football. We're all in Grand Canyon. <laughs> San Diego State. You, you, the, you know, college basketball season this year is exposing you for a football fraud, Colby. Mm. San Diego State. Yeah, bring up your mailing list. What play you've been studying today? 
San Diego State heads to Las Vegas. Another neutral site uh, game here. Oh, maybe we should. Uh, well, this is going to be an interesting ticket. Is this at T-Mobile? This is at T-Mobile. Well, the, with the F1 race, that's going to be uh, mayhem. <laughs> San Diego State taking on St. Mary's. St. Mary's laying a point. St. Mary's coming off a bad loss to Weber State. San Diego State just took down with Long Beach State. Why but are St. you? So St. Mary's is kind of all over the place. They had uh, one game, uh, Stanislaus State. They only oh. allowed twenty eight points. Stanislaus of the North. <laughs> um, St. Mary's, yeah, pr- pretty g- decent defense, but I don't know. Isn't this uh, San Diego State all day? Uh. <sighs> I don't Jayden know, man. Lede, because uh, St. Mary's coming off the the loss. I do think Sa- San Diego State's athleticism could cause a problem, but give me give me St. Mary's minus one coming off the loss. I think Randy Bennett gets him up. I I think just I think San Diego State better players, better suited to handle a neutral court in Las Vegas. Uh, give me give me San Diego State. The yeah, we we faded our gals last time because of the spot. This spot favors them. Yeah, this R- is wrong a- team's favorite. And by the way, Stanislaus, some great, great national, uh, some trees up there, some great, great places to sleep in the dirt. Mm. Highly recommend Stanislaus. Uh, Wait, I think where, it's a national where, where park. It's in California. It's in oh, Central. Okay. It's it's the park north. I want to say it's the park north of uh, or south of Yosemite. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, like on the way up to Yosemite, I think you eventually hit Stanislaus. All right, UNLV heads to Malibu to take on Pepperdine. Some say it's the best job in all of college basketball. Pepperdine catching a point here. Where are we at with UNLV? Are they back? No, they lost nope. to Southern in the opener, but uh, they did <laughs> How retire. How did they screw up Vegas? They these did, colleges. They did retire Anderson Hunt's jersey the other day, but uh, yeah, I mean they're supposed to be really good. They're spo- they were supposed to be really good this year. Maybe that that was just a first game blunder. They did uh, they did bounce back with a sixteen point win over Stetson, the Hatters. Uh, but at the same time, those Pepperdine waves, Sean, have been have been uh, turning. They they look it's pretty easy to good. See a tide turn they got Michael this. Cooper's son, the former uh, Showtime LA Laker, um, on that team. They also have Ethan Anderson, a former USC Trojan. Um, I kind of like this. I might, uh, you know, I I might be at this game. I think I might go to wow. this game. Might be out All there. On location. Yeah. I um, mean, Pepperdine shoots the three ball pretty well. Thirty nine a point two percent so far this season. I think they're going to be able to put up some points. And what I really like is, uh, I always like a good offensive rebounding stat. Um, they're good at stopping the offensive rebounding side on the defense. I think they're going to win the battle of the boards. They're at home. Give me, the, give me the peps. I'm gonna go with the run of Rebs, really, uh, just because Mountain West. It's like it's like class here. Yeah, you're in battles nonstop. I know Southern got him to open the season. Sometimes you hit the road to Malibu, the land of fake tits, and the Richard boom. Dean Anderson. All right, uh, and uh, <laughs> and yeah. girlfriends, Colby, Girl, girlfriends. Uh, That's what we call them. Yeah, Richard Dean Anderson. Ah. Kramer, did you give you <laughs> Kramer? You're on San Diego State, right? Yeah. I I uh, I highlighted how Vegas was a positive spot, yeah. unlike the elevation at BYU when we faded San Diego State. Uh, in this spot, you know, I gotta be honest. The, the formula of agreeing with Colby and disagreeing with Sean seems to be smarter here. Mm. Give me the running revs. We're, I'm a Mountain West guy. Love mm. the Mountain West Conference. Colby, you might be uh, heading to this Pepperdine UNLV uh, game, and you know where you can get last-minute tickets at the lowest price guaranteed. I do. Where would you uh, go? Game time. Game. I, I wasn't. Time. I thought you were talking to the audience. I was yeah, like, are I you know. questioning I, me? Or are you questioning the audience? It was. Um, a, it was a little bit of both. Putting you on the spot here. Well, Colby, what? you get the low price guarantee. Uh, of course, you know that as the game time guarantee. They're gonna hook you up. Make sure you get. A great seat at a great price. You can get the image of your seats before you buy. You know exactly what to expect when you arrive. And uh, the flash deals are pretty great as well. So, not only do you get those low prices, but some of the flash deals are really good as well. I'm seeing if I can, uh, let's see if I can actually pull up. Yeah, I mean, you can get in the building, Colby, uh, UNLV. And Pepperdine. What do you think the uh, in the building price is? I'm gonna say twenty American. 
Nope. Lower. Wow. Just <laughs> uh, going to see Le Pepe is around twenty to thirty, uh, but that's understandable because you're seeing one of the greatest uh, humans ever to walk the planet. But uh, eleven dollars, eleven dollars. Really? I'm definitely going. There get we you, go. Get you in the building. <laughs> Can't even get a sandwich for eleven dollars. Uh, and if you're new to Game Time, download the Game Time app, create an account, use code SGPN for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create the account, redeem the code SGPN. For twenty dollars off, download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. And we're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, your one-stop shop when it comes to parlays. If you want to put together smarter parlays, you got to be using Hall of Fame Bets. NFL, NBA, they got you covered. You can go leg by leg, figure out the expected probability for the entire parlay. Very easy to use. Green boxes, good. Red boxes, bad. Putting together your parlay help you bet smarter, not harder. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame bets to craft more intelligent, data driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame bets app or visit hofbets.com and use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching, start winning with Hall of Fame bets. All right, home stretch. We're heading to Tucson, Arizona. Great college town. Belmont taking on Arizona. Arizona laying 21. Um, great opportunity for Sean to play the cougar sound effect because this is wildcat. Arizona back. This is a big number. Belmont good? Any good? Is this going to be a uh, Belmont they, team? They, that, they got that, their ass whooped. Uh, I mean, normally they keep a good program, but are we going to be talking about a Belmont team as a 15 seed this year? I don't know because I thought coming into the season perhaps. Uh, but they did lose to Furman by oh, like no. 23 points. That's bad luck. But they that didn't was... beat Georgia State. As so. the, it's the classic early away games tend to be tough for these college teams. Um, maybe it's a huge step up in class. They just beat beat Barry Belmont OVC yeah. championship contender. Uh, what yeah, about Cade uh, Tyson, Colby? I'm hearing he might miss the game for Zona. Uh, for for uh, for Belmont, you mean? Uh, oh, oh yeah, miss. Yes, sorry. Um. Well, that uh, that would be huge because that's probably why you should take Arizona just as a because if Kate Tyson yeah. doesn't, they don't have a shot. Yeah, they don't have the depth that say Arizona does with Kashad Johnson coming in from San Diego State and Caleb Love coming I, I in mean, from North Carolina. It's early, but uh, Wildcats averaging ninety nine points per game, six guys in double figures. That place gets lit too. Lay it, Lay Kashad it. Johnson dominating. They, they, they beat Duke in camera. You're so not did gonna, Lehigh. Not, not in camera though. Yeah, I was gonna neutral say. court. The, the, uh, lay it. Yeah, uh, the, I'm not usually laying a big chalk like this, but this is the spot. Casey, Alex- enjoy Belmont uh, Discord. Casey Alexander, uh, you know where you got to start? Stetson. Mm. Mm. Bum. Tennessee, all the way out to Arizona. They're gonna be very interested in the talent. You know who else went to Stetson? Ray Finkel. Really? Yeah. Laces out. Wow, a lot of dots being connected here on the show. South Carolina, the Gamecock, South Carolina. Ha, uh, wait, they're also playing in Glendale, Arizona. This part of this tournament. So they're also playing at the, the Colangelo home tournament. of the Arizona Rattlers. Yes. Uh, take it on DePaul, South Carolina, lay in three and a half. Here. Lay it. They, you know, watching them play against the the Hokies, I, I certainly don't think the Hokies uh, lost the game to the Gamecocks. They played good ball. They shoot the three ball really well. BJ Mac. Great get for them. They, they, it's year two, Lamont Paris doing a Wofford good job. Wofford transfer BJ Mac leading, uh, leading oh, the yeah. team in scoring and rebounding. Michi oh. Johnson, great name. Uh, yeah, they got. They, I was impressed with South Carolina. I think they're. You know, I did the SEC preview uh, with Noah Beanick, and what I was saying, watch out. I think. I don't know. I don't think they'll make the tournament or anything, but I think they're going to be a lot more competitive than people think. They're going to take a step forward in year two of Paris. I love them, and DePaul is complete ass. De- DePaul lost to Long Beach State. They I'm, lost. You it's know. a good fade. I'm going to make a prediction that this spread is much bigger. You still like it what at five? Think, five? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. Let's, we should. We we can. I don't know. I'm not. I don't feel as strongly about this one. But I'm Move also it on, to four and a half. Yeah, I think four. I, I think it's it's almost certainly going to be a bigger number when we're picking it. So. We'll give the Discord a couple uh, a point a point there because uh, we're so generous. Uh, we're like the give disgusting sweet EV, the disgusted mutated fat guy from Mad Max. Here's some water, bitches. Xavier <laughs> heads to Las Vegas. 
What an interesting reference. Uh, you know, I, I've only seen a couple movies. Uh, to take big matchup here: Xavier Washington, the Huskies of the North. Huskies laying a point in Vegas, another neutral site. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm kind of being serious. The circus of Formula One going on around these games has to pose a distraction. Yeah, are they gonna? How are the kids gonna get rooms? <laughs> like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Poor Larry Brown is on a Washington staff. Is gonna be. He's like 85 years old. Oh, he's like, hey guys, uh, cool if I don't come to the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of crowds. So wh what's the book on Washington? So I haven't seen them play yet. Oh, they drive me crazy, man. They're super talented. They're, they're the same as the past few years. They're super talented. They underachieve. Really? But they're capable of beating anyone on any any given day. Because uh, you, you, can't, know, you, you lose have to guys, Steve Alford, I'm out on you. Yeah, I me too. <laughs> I'm out. Me too. I lo I lost money on that. I was on the Huskies. Sixty five percent from the line so far, Washington. Red flag. I uh, yeah, I mean uh, Sean Miller I'm putting in the uh, Sean Miller goes in the bucket of early season. I'll 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 just take him, especially if there's question on the other side. We sure uh yeah. I don't I I don't Washington, I, like Washington should win this game based off talent, but I we think don't Xavier's think, we gonna don't win. Think, yeah, I, I think Xavier might be favored, but I'll I'll certainly take them here, uh, getting the point. Yeah, give me the Musketeers. You think the pit, that that Dundee's wrong with this one too? Think Dundee got a little lazy down mm, the last couple uh, games here. I'm seeing Xavier. Uh, yeah, I I could see. I mean, some people are yeah, so are, are interesting. So uh, clearly, uh, Mr. Benedict Dantel uh, lines are coming up as we're doing the show. Nice. Yeah, Xavier three point favorite. Let's switch it. Um, and South Carolina. I'm still on Xavier. South Carolina doesn't change my pick. South yeah. Carolina was six. Doesn't change my pick. I'm I'm still on South yeah. Carolina. But so, we, I, I, I think the takeaway is uh, maybe we need some review in the process, the the Dundee process. Yeah. <laughs> Do we? So we're moving. Uh, we're moving USC to six. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm still on SC. Okay. I still think it's a good spot. It's going to close like eight and a half. Well, Ryan, we're, that's why we're sharps. We're getting some CLV. With our made up numbers, I will say, and even where it's going to move. Well, I will say, I think, the, I think the key, if you are betting college basketball more so than any sport, although I do, I do this also with football. But I, I think if you just fire early, whatever worry you have about missing out on injury stuff, it doesn't matter. If you're right, the the lines move so much overnight. I mean, even Colby, you do your show when. Uh, nine o'clock Pacific. Every every night you're yeah. live on YouTube. Got a podcast. That line movement's out. insane, though. So that's Sometimes what I'm saying. you you know by the time that the games tip, so uh, so that but that's what I'm saying. Fire early on college basketball if you feel strongly about your opinion, and if you're not if if you don't feel strongly, the you, you know why what the fuck are you betting? Um, I really hate. I I was uh, I was listening to it. I, it wasn't even really a gambling thing. But they had a gambling segment, and they had a guy on. Come, he came on four leans, no picks. <laughs> That's these the worst. are my leans. That's the what? Like take that shit to Italy. Get all, in your tower. They're all leaving, right? Though I mean, I feel like as we continue to evolve as a society, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're leaving, right? They're not going to be around in 10, 20 years, right? Leaners, yeah. I think the problem is it's time like to lean, the, time to clean. The space is weird right now. You have who the, wants to hear that shit? But are you like the serious people are serious and they don't pick every game. They and, suck too. And the clown and and more people have blown up being clowns for being bad at gambling. So it's like you have to. It's a you know there's this dangerous space that we operate. Ryan in the Kramer fade God. Oh, I mean, I I you know I would say that if if you combine uh, entertainment and track record. Yes. No one's I'm stopping. I'm not us. sure if anyone's beating us. No one's stopping us. 70% in the NFL locks. I mean, listen to the, uh, uh, you know, we're not touts, but we're all 83% on our locks. The plus, consensus plays are 15 and five. What more do you want? Plus 1300 parlay. It gave you Oh my God. Actually, let's go. Another Dundee ism shirt. I think Noah just stumbled into something in the chat. Colby Colby bets teams, not numbers. <laughs> It's true. Just, we need a bet teams, not numbers shirt. I love yeah. every time Noah's uh, <laughs> photo pops up. I have a good. He looks like a that's a Star Wars character. He too, looks huh? like a, Star Trek actually. No, Star he, Trek he character. looks like an extra in uh, Back to the Future oh. Two when they go to the the future and like what one, one Billy one of his yeah like one henchmen. of yeah one of yeah. Biff Tannen's uh, yeah, this like. Is what, like guys that are roughing up Marty McFly, uh, McFly. Uh, once just... again, back to my point. There's not enough henchmen in the world today. 
That, oh, we need more hench. Yeah, that's what Oakleys will look like in the future, right? Obviously. <laughs> Kind of has a uh, X Men vibe. The the dude who shoots the laser yeah. out of his eyeballs. Magneto. No, no. There's a guy who shoots. Uh, not, Magneto can control magnetic forces. Cyclops. Uh, yeah. There you go. There we go. I'm I'm not. I'd have to phone a friend and call one of the children. All right. Locks dogs. What do you got? Uh. Well, I kind of want to do a do a like a neutral site special here. Yeah. Let's do it. Kansas State plus one. Love this spot from Tang and the boys. Wrong team's favored. Spot number two. I, I I'll just we we joked about can't we spoke a lot about not this game, but give me Yale minus one and a half. Hmm. Uh, two Heading neutral up to site Mont- Con, Canada. Dog. Oh boy. Dog. I'll tell you right now. It's either Butler or Florida State. I'm 100 percent gonna parlay the two. You know, give me Florida State. This Florida is, State is absolutely on the money line. The kind of game that it, there's no way the number should be this big. Let's see. All right, what am I going to do? Uh, I will lock up Grand Canyon, and wow. we actually got a number on Grand Canyon. It's down to two. So, uh, what are we picking fe- at? I think we four. Oh, excellent. Four and a half. So already some nice value there. Oh, I love that. I appreciate the chat for updating numbers as we go. Yes, appreciate you guys. You guys are the real MVPs. Uh, what else do I like here? I eh, South Carolina, they could maybe show them. Eh. Yeah, I'm gonna steal Kramer's Kansas State. It's just a, such a good spot for them. Kramer took Florida State. I'll go Butler money line, but I agree. I think a Butler uh, FSU money line parlay could be in the works. Colby locks dogs. What are we doing? We're locking Grand Canyon minus two. Let's go. Bonus lock. Villanova minus five. Oh. I also love that, but I don't did not I know that need, was going to be a lock. Didn't oh, yeah. need to hear Ryan's negativity on it. The dog is Florida State. Mm-hmm. Woo. Florida State is is, is is I like the Butler angle, but maybe, maybe we do a Butler Florida State yeah, yeah. parlay. Just two yeah. teams. Butler Florida State money line. If we can get a price on that, that would be great. Uh make sure you are subscribed to the college basketball experience. Smash that subscribe Smash. button. Smash our subscribe button. Come on. I mean, li- listen to all these free winners we gave out. Completely free. No charge. Toss us a nice rating review. Always appreciate that. Always appreciate hearing from you. The D Gens. Uh get in on the Patreon uh pick'em. Uh AK Sports Gaming Podcast.com slash Patreon. This weekend's prize, hundred dollar paper ticket NFL future for Excellent. a team of your choice. Sports game on podcast.com slash Patreon. We'll mail it to your house. We will autograph it if you want. Can, uh, SGPN, the mascot, is a good one here. Yes. The henchman. Ooh. Mm, what's okay. a henchman? That's uh, uh I'm still I think anteaters in the lead for me. Oh, Peter the Anteater came you can't through. Take big. the anteaters from another team. That's what I'm okay. saying. We need originality. Yeah. I know you normally like to just follow the trends in life, but All I'm right. saying, you know, I, you know uh, what? I will commit. <laughs> I will commit to coming up with a list of the uh, ten animals that I think should be our mascot. Okay, okay. I, I, that's what is, I'm. Is that going right to be uh, the debut on the Lisp Gambling Podcast? Oh, well, <laughs> a Lisp? when we get around to it, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Uh, and, and real quick, I don't actually want you to click subscribe if you're here only for the picks. Mm-hmm. I only want people to click subscribe if they're having a good time. Yeah, don't be a pick slut. Come on, you guys are better than that. I yeah, uh, I, I'm in it for a long term relationship. I like long conversations. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm in it because I'm a. Football. I am an East Carolina fan. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Uh, and stay tuned to our YouTube channel. We are doing the uh, NFL Week 11 props episode a little bit early. Of course, CJ Sullivan, man, the box will be joining us. So uh, lots to get to on this thirsty Thursday. Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast for the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean second, the money green. He's Ryan fire off your action. I'm seeing that all the numbers are open now. Kramer. Let it ride.